Uma Krebliv, and also uh, International Boxing Association officials, and the former world heavyweight champion Roy Jones, who is a legend. Mm -hmm. So it's a very critical day for Sri Lanka, but not only for boxing, as a country. Yes. Because I want to, since he came on a personal invitation of mine, Ministry, nor the National mm -hmm. Olympic Committee has not funded boxing. So this is the first time we got a 10 million worth of gloves. Um, so you are, are you focusing on any new generation of like kids to bring forward and to like put them for Olympics? Is there anyone that? Of course, know? we have got a national youth team, mm -hmm. and uh, they were the people who actually got the gloves as well. Yes. And I have already organized a uh, few programs for, for them. Uh, one in Hungary, and uh, I'm trying to do send some people. Already we sent some 25 athletes to India mm -hmm. to fight in the youth team, men and women both, girls and boys. And uh, you know, it's rather unfortunate the athletes had to pay for their ticket, yes. and the parents had to fund it. It is actually the federation and the country is responsible to do all that. So, country must give the federation the money or the athletes money or at least the tickets to go there. Yeah. I can organize, being a director of international boxing, the facilities and the other country's support. Yeah. But I can't afford to send 25 people and That's buy 25 <laughs> tickets for the athletes. Yeah. You know, which all these years I did to a certain extent. When I was not retired but at the helm, being a chief executive <laughs> or a chairman of a large uh, private organization, but not anymore. Yes. So uh, they still expect me, and <laughs> then they get upset. When you it know, doesn't happen. Recently, yeah. it happened. Uh, you know, a coach who had gone with me for 11 times, who was one of my employees, because uh, he didn't get a ticket, uh, and his uh, boy went. You know, he was making a racket and complaining. Mm -hmm. So I said, in that case to win the 1996 uh, World Cup uh, match, uh, Dev Watmore would have been not been the coach, yeah. but it would have been uh, the Anand the coach uh, who was uh, Arjun Ranatunga's coach. He was a great coach, but internationally to fight or to win, we must have the best people, yeah. not your boy. Boy is a national asset, not your private asset. It is not my asset. Anurudharat Nag is not my asset. The country center and with Anuruddha Ratnayaka, we must send the best coach for Olympics. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so most of the time the coach, head coach, was a Cuban coach mm -hmm. and a Sri Lankan coach, and me as the corner man. Right. So, yes, now you have been the corner man for a real long time, I guess. How, um, how is the corner man important and what's the difference? You see, the corner office? man's job. After every fight, three minutes, first round, the boxer sits down at the corner. Yes. The head coach jumps inside the ring and he will say two or three things. You can't tell stories yes. because our, it's not playing cricket or tennis. You know, you're fighting yes. and you have got blows. Yes. Sometimes if you get a head, head blow, you're a little dizzy as yes. well. So he can tell you two or three things. Mm. And assistant coach is also there if the head coach misses something to say something. But head coach only talks. Yes. My job as a corner man, for 20 years, I take the gum shield, mm -hmm. you know, which is full of spit, yeah. wash it, give him a sip of water and put it back. Mm -hmm. If he's bleeding, put the Vaseline and stop the bleeding. That's my job. And I have to generally finish that in 30 seconds. Yes. 30 seconds, take the gum shield, wash the spit, Otherwise, you can't put yes. it back, give the water, stop the blood. I have 30 seconds to get into his mind and tell him why is he fighting for the country. Yes. Sometimes we don't know what is in his mind, mm -hmm. whether he's fighting for the country, whether he's fighting for his parents, whether he's fighting for the school, whether he's fighting for the glory. I need to know up front. Yeah. I had a chat with Roy Jones, one of the legends who won five category of weight classes in the world. Only man to have done that. From cruiserweight fighting to heavyweight. Yeah. Amazing boxer. 
you know, he had fought 75 professional fights and 47 of them been him by knockout. Mm -hmm. So I asked the same question from him. What is the corner, corner man's importance? He said corner man is more important than even the head coach. Because Ali mentioned one thing which I really didn't understand. When there was a black and white issue in the 60s and there was a lot of pressure for Angelo Dandi, Ali's corner man to be dropped off because he was Italian. You know what was Ali's answer? The greatest boxer of all time. I changed my name, I changed my wife, I changed my religion. But every time I'm fighting, Angelo Dandi will stay in my ring. Right. You know, Angelo Dandi is not his coach. People, I also thought Angelo Dandi was his coach. No, the coach was Mandini Brown. Angelo Dandi is the greatest motivator in boxing and the corner man. Mm -hmm. He gets into the strategy of Ali. He'll tell Ali what to fight, why is he fighting for. He gets yeah. into the thing. Yeah. And he's with Ali in the training camp in only in the last two weeks. <laughs> Bandini Brown is in all 12 weeks. I didn't know that till, you know, yesterday. <laughs> When uh, Roy Jones told me that, I realized the job I was doing mm -hmm. and my tone, whether it's firm, Panuruddha, it's son, Kuta, Panusha, it's a name, Dua or Anusha. Yeah. And there are times that I've told somebody else, <laughs> you know, who's a, who was, whom we have to take from the prison right. on a thing to represent at Commonwealth Games in four letter words so <laughs> my PS tell me please don't use four letter words and all that because you all heard all over the world I have to tell him to his ear because if I told Puta to him it's a tough fight he would have fought various things yeah. and you know you need to know the tactics what motivates you individually now, they are tough experiences there's always fright the fear of losing yes in front of 100,000 people the whole country is watching you know, it's like you need six runs to win or four runs <laughs> to win in a 50th yeah. or, a, or, or a 20 over game and you have two balls. Mm. That's the time your mental pressure and how you play the game. You can be the best person and Basi Makram is bowling from the other side <laughs> and then you have to hit a six or a four to win the match. Yeah. You know, that is what the tenacity is. Sure. And we don't train people for that. That's and right, that yeah. is in boxing, the corner man's job. Mm -hmm. In the last few fights, there was no corner man. There was no yeah. corner man, only one coach. So he has to do everything. Do everything. Yeah. And it doesn't work. And Roy Jones told me his coach was his father for a long time. Mm -hmm. He was a great coach, but not a great coach, a corner man. Right. He moved away from that, dropped the father and went for another coach. These are lessons we need to understand. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. the way a father drives a son or a daughter, you know, is very different to a professional driving the son or the daughter. Yes. You know, yeah, my, <laughs> both my daughters represented at the Asian Games and Commonwealth Games. Mm -hmm. I was not there. I went and not, from the back I watched, right? I was with Manjuwani Arachi at the same time in the boxing ring. You know, I must know my priorities mm -hmm. and I must know what to motivate. That's true. You yeah. know, you can't motivate yeah. your kids. You know, your father will find it difficult <laughs> to motivate you. Yeah. But your coach can do it and your corner man can do it. And why are we losing, especially cricket, our best game? Are we investing in psychologists, the best in the world? Are we training them other skills to face professional interviews? It's not only playing cricket. Mm -hmm. There's so much of gamut of things. It's also the mind medical game. support. Yeah. You know the nutrition. You know all these other countries do that. Not that we don't have the money. Yeah. Cuba doesn't have the money, but Cuba is focused. First of all, if you are representing your country, you must have the heart. Yes. In boxing, yeah. heart and head mm -hmm. and the skill. Heart comes from the school level. 
stand for the national anthem sing the national anthem you can see a all blacks game mm. with the hand yeah. to the heart they sing the anthem and they do the haka yeah. we are trying to do haka <laughs> we know it has nothing to do with us we must have our own style you know and start from the school start from the administration start from all that we will start from the beginning and that yeah. comes with the leadership that's right yeah you know so that's <laughs> yeah. it yeah no, all what you said has been great and so true um i guess that will be all the questions for today i uh, thank you so much for taking your time to be with us and to answer these questions thank you so much thank you and i can end up with say we can do it of course we can do it <laughs> we are resilient we are the talent put the right resources right coaching and the right people into the job we'll bring the medal okay so what about um, the noc what's their play in this whole picture how do they come into it actually noc has a great uh, role to play because they get sometimes funding from the national uh, international olympic committee and they must select the right sports and support them with you know getting the programs from the international olympic committee like what i am doing getting the programs getting the facilities uh, etc from the international boxing association they need to have a role there as well i think it stems from the leadership i mm-hmm. think at the moment uh, suresh subramaniam the president of the national olympic committee he is trying to do something good i think uh, he has a unblemished record on integrity in sports mm-hmm. he understands sports uh, he is captain royal in tennis my own school and uh, i think he is trying to do a good job but unfortunately uh, he doesn't have a great team mm-hmm. uh, you can't do as the president of the national olympic committee to manage 25 sports so he need to have some people who drives it unfortunately there's a conflict between the major sports and the national olympic committee because of different reason mm-hmm. i myself have been a vice president of at the national olympic committee uh, during hemasiri fernando's time for 12 12 years but if you look at it the major sports like athletics boxing rowing volleyball and major sports uh, have a major issue with the national olympic committee so that's not good you know we need to work in harmony and in sync so that doesn't work the ministry and the national olympic committee is at loggerheads mm-hmm. every time uh, the national olympic committee some of the officials let down sri lanka and the ministry and other sports openly in the last uh, asian olympic committee meeting uh, one of the officials got up and talked about boxing which is not relevant to him. and he let down the country and the other countries were phoning me and said who is this joker who's come here and who's talking out of ag- agenda yeah so things like that so they have a role to play the president is struggling all by himself to play the role some of the officials are having their own ideas of giving free tickets and <laughs> sending officials on trips yeah. so that he they survive uh, to be in power and they are mostly outside the country going on trips and uh, not doing their own work yes. and giving lectures and trying to charge money for them yeah. so there's a lot of conflict of interest so obviously the whole country knows that currently you can see the conflict between the associations and the olympic committee mm. the ministry and the olympic committee the seriously they should be under the ministry because ministry is funding them uh, so the moment they have been asked questions by the auditor general and all that they complain to the ioc saying government is mistreating them and all that uh, <coughs> the government should not get involved in the selection mm. of the olympian yeah. but the government has a duty to check the account and the money which is coming from abroad because right. you know any money coming from abroad and if the national olympic committee 
also takes money from the ministry they need to give the accounts you know ministry has not funded me yeah. and uh, even iba has not funded me mm-hmm. it's private funding but we are under the auditor general we need yeah. to show the accounts you know so that's a law of the country yeah. but sometimes it doesn't work like that so because of these conflicts um, i think sports is going behind mm. so we need to have some credible leadership um, and a credible team at the national olympic committee you know rather than you know having these small sports say for example recently they added two sports within one day beyond the constitution mm. you know uh, things like uh, you know dancing right because it gets a board yeah. and some other game which is for paris and uh, big show and, and all that while the major sports which are going to win a medal you know we don't have a single discussion yeah they're not given the opportunity no yeah. that's a reality so when you make comments like that you are the most unpopular person <laughs> that's true yeah thank you for being with us today and for giving us your precious time to answer these questions it has been great and very insightful thank you so much for being with us elen sports thank you thank you thank you